spring going for? I know you're getting a, a lot of reps with uh, the ones and, and the twos. Just how, how are things going for you? I mean, it's going really well. We got a we got a great unit, great coaching staff. So they're all they're trying to mix me with everybody and, and do a lot more things with the tight ends on the field because uh, we had a really good spring. You know, our, our unit was really strong. Everybody in the even the, the walk-ons on our team, they're all they're all pushing us to be the best. So um, we're having a good spring right now. Our group won best unit of the whole winter, so they're trying to get us on the field as much as possible. I imagine it's pretty rare for a college football team to have all four scholarship tight ends who all played and are all coming back the next year. It's got to be because we talk about that and just what are your thoughts about that? I mean, yeah, when you, when you look at it, we're, we're obviously a pretty young team. We lost a lot of guys at the skill positions, the linemen, uh, obviously Dwayne, but the only group that came with almost with everybody back was the tight end. So they're kind of leaning on us for some leadership. I'm leaning on the older guys for leadership, and uh, we really carried this, this, this team in, uh, in the weight room and the, the, the team runs and everything. So I'm really excited about our group. We're all doing really well, and like I said, everybody from top to bottom in our group is just pushing each other to be the best. Coach Day said last week that you've been playing a little bit at H. What's that been like for you? Uh, we're just trying something new. You know, we're, we're spring, so we're putting a lot of stuff in, and uh, I'm cool with it. I like it. Uh, so uh, whatever I can to help the team win, whatever they want me to do, I, I'm down to do it. What are the different things you have to do when you're playing that role versus playing as a tight end? Uh, I'd say I can uh, kind of think. I got to think at, at a different position, obviously, because I'm not really attached to the ball. Looking at the, the defense technique and everything about that, so I'm just looking at like either with the coverage or something like that. So obviously that, but I'm just trying to go play. So whatever they want me to do, I'll just go play. You know, we got a lot of depth at tight end, so that helped, that allows me to do that. And uh, learning from the older guys at age two, KJ, I'm learning a lot from them, watching them, CJ. So. It's, uh, it's definitely something I'm learning and, and it's something I'm willing to do. It's anything to help the team. I know you played some receiver in high school. Does that kind of help with that transition that you've, kinda, you've been a receiver before? No doubt. I mean, uh, I'm kind of going back to my own stopping ground. So it's kind of it's kind of a lot of fun going out there and uh, being allowed to do my thing. So like I said before, though, anything to help the team. we got a good uh, young quarterback competition. They're all looking really well. Uh, wide receivers are looking really well, so I'm really excited about this group. The last time on Ohio State uh, tight end caught 30 passes or more in a season was 2003. Did you know that? Does that surprise you? Uh, it doesn't really surprise me because when you think about Ohio State, they just they put their best players in the situation to make the best plays. So uh, we've had some great tight ends come through. A lot of them are in the league right now. Uh, Marcus and AAF doing a lot of things. Caught a touchdown the other day. So I mean, whoever's the best player is going to get the ball. That's how, that's how Coach Day is. That's how Coach Wilson is. So us coming in having a great winner was huge. You know, our group's really deep. So I think that it's very it's very possible it could happen this year, and uh, we'll keep fighting for it. You mentioned those quarterbacks, just Justin and Matt. What's it been like building a rapport with those guys? I mean, they're both really smart guys. That's what the, they, they obviously can throw. They guys can run around a little bit, but they're really smart. They're learning really well. It uh, looks like a good competition. They're both really getting to feel the offense, which is tough. We have a tough offense, so I think they're both doing a really good job, and I'm excited to see how it works out. You mentioned that you've been working receiver a little bit in, in the new offense, but you, back in high school, that was your position. Not many people know that you weren't really a tight end in high school. What is what is that process? What, what was that process like adapting the tight end last year? And where do you feel like you're at now? I think last year last year was huge for me. You know, um, getting my feet wet in, in, between the, in between the tackles and and getting my uh, head in there. So I think it was really good for me. But like you said, I used to play all, all receiver in high school. My first day playing tight end was last summer camp. So uh, you know, it was a really good transition last year. Seeing seeing playing in games every game, and just like seeing what it takes to be on the field and. And now being able to use my skill set with the rest of the tight ends because we're all, like I keep saying, we're all old group comebacks, so we're able to be on the field a lot more. Yeah. So, Sorry, playing behind Luke and Rashad, what did you take away from those guys when you were a freshman? And how are, how are you working that into what you're doing this spring? I mean, I wouldn't even just say Luke and Rashad. Jake was a big help. Uh, even the walk-ons with Derek was a big help. Uh, they really just told me uh, everything I needed to know about where to line up, where the signals were, because that was the toughest part coming in was thinking so much pre-play, not thinking about the play exactly. So now I feel like I got a big rest learning from them about everything and, and being more confident on the field so I can look at what the defense is doing, play more uh, reactive instead of just thinking about everything that's coming at me. Was this a change you expected coming in in your second year? I mean, coming in as receiver, playing tight end for Did you expect to come back receiver? Uh, they've, always spoke, they've always talked about it. I mean, uh, we haven't been doing too much of that, so I don't want to say that I'm just playing receiver now. Uh, I've obviously, I'm, we're still playing and attached to the ball a lot more, two tight ends attached to the ball. So we're just trying new things, new offense, and I, I'm not going to say I expected it, but uh, we've, we've talked about it before, and I'm excited to keep you going. Is blocking the biggest adjustment to, to coming from high school to college ball? Is it, is it blocking for a guy like you, or what's the biggest uh, adjustment? I wouldn't say just blocking. I would say pass blocking, so that's something I've been really trying to work on with Coach Hinton. Uh, I played defense a lot in high school, so the physicality wasn't really a big question for me. But it's more about the technique. So I've, I've been really working at it with Luke, Rashad, all the guys staying after. And I feel like I've gotten a really good grasp of it and, and really confident in my technique and, and my work ethic because you can worry about all the technique you want. If you don't have the strain and the drive to keep going every play, finishing every play, you're not going to do anything. So I think that's what they've taught me the most is whatever you do, just strain, finish the play, ride with the culture that's, that's been set here, and, and then you'll be all right from there. You were a big-time recruit. Was it, was it kind of Ohio State all the way once you guys built a relationship, or was there like a close second? Like, what, Just reflect on your recruitment a little bit, uh, if you would. I would say it was pretty much Ohio State all the way. Everybody was kind of behind. I was just At the end, I was kind of just visiting to see if I was making the right choice. 
I wasn't going to see if I, I, was, I knew going in that Ohio State was my number one, so I didn't want to make the wrong decision. So I would go visit and see, and, and I just, everywhere I went, I was just like, it don't compare. So, you know, it was a really, really like, it felt home here, so that's why I made the decision because I'm, I'm really big to my home. So 